Hi guys, Office Bloke Dave here. No, Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Welcome to Office Bloke's News. Dun, dun, dun. Topical news channel. Topical news channel. We are here to commentate on all things that we would have otherwise reacted to, but we can't show videos at the moment. In the headlines today. In the news today, just in. Uh, just in. <laughs> I think it was proper further than just in. All the way in. <laughs> Not just a tip. <laughs> Uh, so this is some breaking news that's come from Office Bloke Daz, so I'm going to let him explain what the story's about. No, this is a story I was reading last night. When I, when I go home, I tend to read through all the newspapers, so I like get me uh, get all my political information and um, and sports information that I wouldn't normally would normally watch, but I don't have time to watch. Sort of right. thing. So I scan through the papers and sort of like see what's going on around the world. And one of the articles sort of like sprung up on me in the uh, and, and I thought, what's this quite interesting sort of like headline? And what it was was uh, someone's. Uh, uh, allegedly uh, saying that they've caught Will Smith in a, uh, in, a in a position of compromising position, compromising position let's say yeah so he's walked in on him well allegedly he was having anal sex with uh, one of his ex co-stars of a uh, Fresh Prince of Bel End it says well it says that Dwayne Martin yeah Dwayne Martin so yeah he was in he was in Fresh Prince was he yeah he was, he was a co-star I think in Fresh Prince of Bel Air yeah I don't know who he is um I did obviously watch Fresh Prince of yeah. Bel-Air. Yeah, him. Uh, so. I don't really recognise him, if yeah. I'm being honest. But it says, the, the way I don't know him, I never watched the show, but the, the mm. way the, when I was reading the, the, the news about it, he was saying he was a, he was a uh, co-star or a... somewhat along them lines. Right, yeah. okay. But anyway, he's... Uh, so one guy called Brother Bilal has gone on a show called Tasha K. Right. Um, and so, like I said, this is what he's seen. So he's a legend mm. that he walked in on. Yeah, he's in his in in uh, Brother Bilal's words, he's opened the door to um, Dwayne Martin's um, dressing, room, dressing room. I think. Yeah, yeah, dressing room, and he was being murdered. Uh, like a phrase used, not not with, like being not as we would yeah. know murdered. Yeah, but yeah. Being, yeah, yeah. 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 But he was being. Uh, let's say let's say his back door was being kicked in. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's by euphemism for yeah. uh, he was bent over the couch, Will Smith, um, and. Dwayne is uh Dwayne Martin's uh kicking his back door in, let's say. Wow. And this brother Bilal reckons he's seen it. So this this is obviously alleged coming from this guy. Like uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. why now? Mm. Let's delve into this a little bit. What what why would now? be the, yeah. what yeah. would be the point? point? Yeah. It's a good point. Well I think you know, the news broke about uh there was I think a, a relationship that had propped up with uh G. I. Jane and uh Will Smith. Yeah, that uh, they've not been together for seven years, something like that. So this this is probably sort of like a little bit of a, a bit more context into what the Will Smith's life's about. Yeah, from from Brother Bilal's perspective. See, I saw years ago at Download Festival, I saw Jada Pinkett Smith playing in a band. Oh yeah, and I didn't know who she was at the time. Was it the specials? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but she was <laughs> she was singing in a metal band. They were they were. I want to say they were called like Evil Empire or something. Right. And uh, it was obvious she was just along for the ride. Like I saw an interview where they said, "Who's your favorite metal band?" And she was like, "Yeah, you know." But you're playing a, me a metal yeah, yeah. festival. Um, but at that point, for some reason, I always thought they were in an open relationship. Right, Will Smith it's and been, Jade. It's been alleged that that's been the case for a long time, hasn't it? I think. Yeah. And then so. when all this stuff came out, you know, in the past year, two years, I was kind of like, "Isn't that? Wasn't that?" A given, like mm. I'm sure publicly they'd both said they were in an open relationship. Yeah. With, with news, I normally sort of like when I'm reading the newspaper and I'm blitzing through them all to try and get as much info as I can about what's going on around the world. I normally skip uh, showbiz news, I'm not I'm really not asked. Yeah, it's one of them sort of like uh, events of what goes on around the world. I'm not asked, but what the reason it's <laughs> the reason with the showbiz news, it's sort of like threw me on is it's sort of a picture of Megan the Stallion at the G at the uh, men's GQ Men of the Year Award, whatever it's called, right. GQ Men mm. of the Year Award. And I thought, oh, that looks interesting. Let me go and have a quick look, see what's going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I like got into the showbiz pages, and then you went and, down the rabbit hole. And then I went sort of like, sort of like, started right. scroll. Forgot I was on the showbiz pages and started scrolling. Yeah, yeah. And then saw this that story, and that's, right. all like, that's okay. how I came so, about it. Yeah. I, th I think like so. It's Megan the Stallion's fault. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit odd that only a week ago it was in the news that Will Smith allegedly had an affair with Margot Robbie. Oh yeah. And it's like you know everyone's going on about that, and then suddenly the next week he's gay, is he? And it's like. Mm. I, is it just people struggling to get clicks and you know it, it maybe will smith is low-hanging fruit at the moment yeah maybe yeah. maybe mm. he's, maybe he's left himself open to allegations like that because maybe if you've got an open relationship 
let's yeah. say. The bit, the bit that, that maybe you are leaving yourself open to it and people thinking, well, that could be plausible. Yeah, mm, I mean, I mean Dwayne, I Dwayne Martin's yeah. come forward and said he's not going to comment on it because it's just absolute nonsense. Um, right. You know, it's just it's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, lies and yeah, made yeah. up sort of thing. And I've seen I've seen the interview with um, Brother Bilal and Sasha Kay, and it does seem a little bit out there. It seems like a little bit. Yeah, we just uh, had a quick bit watch of yeah, it. Yeah. 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 It seemed very well rehearsed to me. And the, the other side of it to me is who, who gives a shit. No, oh, yeah, I couldn't care less. I guess Will was given. I guess Will was given a shit, and even Bilal was uh, not Bilal. The uh, Dwayne Martin was taking it. <laughs> I think uh, it says there that Dwayne Martin's married as well. So he's divorced now. Oh, oh he was. He's he divorced. It said spouse on Wikipedia. He, he, he was married for twenty odd years. Oh, wasn't right, it, yeah. Somebody and then yeah, uh, got divorced go. uh, uh, recently, uh, a few years back. Yeah, I got to say, if like Will Smith had been gay this whole time, and you know, this is just based off this allegation. Who knows? We don't know any of this. If he was, and he's, it's public that people are saying he's been treated like shit by Jada over the past few mm. years, ruined his career, embarrassed himself. If he was actually gay and then now came out, went on like Rogan's podcast or something and announced to the world that he's gay. Can I just stop you there? Go on. Right. How bad would it be that if he does come out as he's gay for um, for Chris, was it Chris Rock who he slapped? Uh, yeah. Who did he slap Chris yeah. Rock? Yeah, 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 yeah. How bad does it be for Chris Rock that you got bitch slapped by a gay guy <laughs> live on TV? Gay guys, <laughs> gay guys can be pretty tough. <laughs> you know? No, but the, what I was going to say is if... Uh, if Wait, he, when you say that, Dave, what do you mean when you say gay guys can be pretty tough? You've wrestled. They're naked usually in better game. shape yeah. than all three of us. They take care of <laughs> oh, themselves. I don't know. I've None seen of us some. Do. I've seen some. Um, yeah. But no, what I was going to say is, if he actually did that though, and say went on Rogan and came out as gay, and he's mm. been hiding it because of prejudices in the industry, and, you know, like it's, there's a whole spin on it where people would be like, "Fuck yeah, Will Smith," you know, "Go you," and it'd like turn everything back round for him. Maybe Possibly. it'd explain a lot of the weird behaviour. Mm. The pressures is under living a lie, all the stuff with Jada, and it'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, but you're only living a lie because that's what you choose to live that lie. Yeah, but that's I on think you, isn't it? When he got the job on uh, Fresh Prince when he was like 19 years old, something like that, mm. possibly wouldn't have been considered if he was gay. You know, because yeah, don't maybe, forget we're still maybe. talking like what was it, late 80s, early 90s, or something. Mm, guess so yeah. So I mean, it could be a, a, a great underdog story if, yeah, if he that. was I get and that. he came yeah. out and played it right mm. then it could you, be a, are, you, are you suggesting that's what this is all boiling down to no because I, I think it's like the Schofield stuff if if he was and <laughs> if he came out this mm. way he's been backed into a corner to do it so, yeah. I, so it's not as admirable right. but I think it just explain a lot of what's gone on mm. but it's his old this guy brother Bill Al's his old personal assistant isn't he or yeah, something like you know could he be a part of the you, you expose this we look at it this way and then all of a sudden boom it's out there that thing that we just watched, that bit of the interview off air, it, it didn't seem very trustworthy to me. The way it he was seemed a little bit, of a, that story. seemed a little bit funky. You know, the girl um, Tasha Kay was the name. Seemed a little bit over dramatic with her actions. Yeah, she was a bit real, wasn't she? Yeah. I mean, just I mean, why is this with this guy? So he was his assistant, was he? I think so. In the uh, I mean, is yeah. he not now? Was he sacked for some? No, I think he's this? prior assistant. Yeah, like putting yeah. this out there. Yeah, allegedly Did, because he's like. Uh, well, but Jade, Jade has now come forward not, and said she was going to sue him. Right, correct. So it's <clears throat> yeah, for, uh, for, for what he's been saying for, for defamation. Yeah, or whatever something. It is, but yeah, I mean, he's yeah. not said anything about Jada, has he? No. So it surely has to be Will that sued it's a bit him. A strange one, that. Mm. But, uh, well, I'm yeah. guessing them as a, them as a couple. Them as a couple. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be that all of this is just the press doing a, a hatchet job on Will mm. Smith and Jada, possibly you know, because it yeah. gets clicks and it's just it's something to talk about. Well, mm. people put them. It's that guy that's saying it, isn't it? So the, the press and other media sources will put that clip out there left right and centre won't they yeah. they don't care because yeah, they're, just, now, they're just showing what somebody yeah. said mm. now yeah. they can headline so. things allegedly Will yeah. Smith did something yeah, and yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and they don't have the accountability of them mm. making that claim yeah, and like I say for me the way, the way I see it, my conclusion on the news is I don't I don't care if Will Smith's gay or not no who gives a shit I still won't watch his movies <laughs> <laughs> no mate to be fair I really liked Will Smith as an actor mm. he seemed like a cool guy very eccentric though a bit off his chops yeah yeah and then the chris rock thing happened and then his well rehearsed multi-cam apology mm. to it that we reacted mm. to it was all a bit like who is this guy come yeah. on mate. he certainly lost a lot of fans in that time Absolutely. he really did because i've seen him with loads of interviews over here on graham norton so right. he's always like say eccentric but he's always come across like a really nice guy you know yeah he always seemed genuinely yeah. nice and you know got on well with everyone on the couch yeah. and he was a great in so, Great person to interview. <laughs> yeah, he really got into got, it. Got on well with everyone on the couch. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, that, that one incident, he just 
turn so many people off him, I think, didn't it, they? It, yeah. made, yeah. it definitely made him seem like he thinks he's in the stratosphere above everyone yeah, else. Do, and that's, yeah. do, it authenticity goes, is a big yeah. thing nowadays. It goes that way, it, doesn't it? Yeah. But it goes that way with all like you know these superstars, mega stars, however you want to portray them. You know they're all good and well until you get that major sort of like stardom and fame yeah. and then they just don't want to know they forget how they got there Yeah, a lot of people he's really <laughs> yeah he's the biggest <laughs> on the planet yeah. you know what I mean but he's, uh, Will Smith's been famous since he was what I mean Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was when he was 19 but did he already have a rap career before that he certainly did throughout didn't he yeah. and after mm. Because I don't think he was just plucked out of thin air to do Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I think no, absolutely not. No, it's so uh, he's ever since a kid, pretty much, mm. been a famous yeah. guy. Oh, I'm sure there's been a lot of pressure <clears> over the years and everything, but, but you, know, you, you see, it. but you still see people that are level-headed and, and the way they carry themselves, oh, yeah. Yeah, and the way yeah. they do things, you know, and it's uh, and they're still, you know, part of the community if you want. Whereas these people just sort of like, seem to just go on this next level, you know, and then all of a sudden it, it goes bad for them, and then they, they want they want to sort of like climb back into the uh, to the to the to the community yeah and yeah. it's not there they always get found out eventually yeah. people with a certain attitude and a certain personality mm. they can't hide it forever just can't I think it's time for Will Smith to do a long form podcast though sit with Rogan for three hours and just talk about everything be I transparent won't, I, won't, I still wouldn't listen to it <clears throat> no but I, I, I would I would be confident that he was telling the truth a lot of the time yeah, yeah. no but Probably at least nice. over, a, over a three hour conversation it's a lot easier to pick holes in people's stories yeah I get that and yeah. uh, like and if sure, you, sure like Joe Rogan isn't afraid of asking no the difficult questions either for so. the most part he will ask awkward yeah. questions but sometimes certain celebrities he maybe doesn't ask yeah. as you know strong yeah. questions yeah, he's as he should hmm. um, but I, th- I think now's the time because People can make their own minds up. And the thing is, maybe he just wants to stay private. You know, maybe it's no one else's business. It probably isn't anyone else's business. Yeah. But I think if he wants to carry on with a really successful movie career like he had, he's got to sit down long form with someone and have a long conversation yeah. about things. Yeah, if you're if you're maybe. gonna be in if you're gonna be in the, the public eye as like a I don't know, an actor singer, shut in showbiz in general, you've got to expect that things are gonna come your way and you're gonna be, yeah, it's not absolutely. always gonna be it's not always gonna be roses. It's always gonna be you know, sometimes yeah. it's gonna be a little bit bad. Yeah, and you've got you've got to move on from it. You've got to accept it, move on. Not accept it, yeah. but you've got to move on from it. Yeah, you know, and so like take it as a part of your life. That's what it is. Because if someone sees you bent over on a couch, you know, uh, having fun, if you in whatever takes you fan, whatever tickles you fancy, yeah, that's up to them what it's they want to do. Life. That's that's private life. Yeah, do whatever they want. In general, no one can toss about this. No, why wouldn't they? No, it's fine. Two consenting adults if you yeah. want to, if you want to do that. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, in, in this day and age, it's not a thing most no, people not. really care about. No, people don't care these days. It's just, they? you know, it's yeah. just a matter of time until, you know, there's a Premier League footballer that comes out, but mm. obviously that's still a stigma, yeah. isn't it, and things like that. But <laughs> the reason, yeah, the, the reason yeah. that is a stigma is because it's purely based on the fans. Yeah, because you yeah. know the, the chance of the chance are going to be yeah, yeah the chance will be brutal. Everyone if you've got hot dogs out in Mosul, yeah. I mean, I, mean there was, I remember being at Old Trafford once, and there was a chant going round um, about one of the footballers that plays for United. And while I was there, I thought I found it very funny. It was very loud and very clear. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, this is like, if, you know, it's, no one knew if it was true or not. It was just an alleged story that had gone around and the, the chanting was just crazy. Yeah. And, but it was funny. <clears throat> yeah. Was it about to me, sexuality? It was funny. Yeah. To me, it was funny. But it was, um, the phrase was, his name takes it up the arse. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, I, I thought it was Posh Spice one because <laughs> there was that one as well there was one about that as well yeah there's, there's that one that goes around as well but this one was his name and then takes it up the arse at the top of it? everyone's voice you know, so you've got a few thousand people chanting it to a silent stadium sort of thing from one sort of like side of it yeah. and it was just dead loud and he yeah. was stood on the side of the pitch he was coming on as a sub and I, th- I found it quite amusing sort yeah. of thing that it was so loud and so like you know where he, obviously everyone could hear it and it was yeah. But that's what happened. That's the only reason no one's come on it. It's nothing to do with your with your colleagues or your you know your, yeah. uh, your, your you know your people you work with. It's purely to do with the fans. If you wanted yeah, to be right the there. the go to pundit when it came to LGBTQ issues for the rest of your career, mate. If someone comes out, now, got, if someone comes out now, it's a good job for life. If someone's it? now who's like 35, 36 <clears throat> years old who's been gay the whole career um, through sport or whatever, and they come out now and they go, oh, by the way, I am gay, and this is my partner, fucking Tony. You know, we go, you know, so okay. <laughs> right? And they, and they go, and this, and we're going to live happily ever after. He will be on every, every TV panel show, show, panel show, yep. uh, com- di- pum- tr- every, punditry, every football no matter game. how it is, and it's, yeah. and it's the way it is, and it's just, he'll be shoe on in. see that, be thousands. Correct, correct. He'll be shoe on yeah. in for the rest of, for, he'll have another career, another major career. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Doing that, yeah. Yeah. So uh, there you go. Mike sneezes when he gets awkward. Excuse me. <laughs> ah. mm. When we touch a nerve. But yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. whether it's true or not, more power to him. 
You know, if he is gay, then whatever. I think you're right on. Yes. I think you're right about doing an interview. I think that's something that he's got to do to repair his reputation. To I, think so. I, I, yeah, I think so. I agree. Some yeah. sort of mm. like ask me anything type of thing. Mm. Then I think that will probably get yeah. people back on his side again, as long as he's absolutely hundred percent truthful and honest. Yeah, and I think that's where that you'll get scrutinised. Over three so. hours talking to someone who's good at interviewing. Mm. And I mean, I don't mean after <clears> this late thing. I mean after the Chris Rock thing. But I don't yeah, think that's that, what yeah, I mean. Yeah. But I don't think so. I don't think he'll do it with someone like a Joe Rogan. I think he'll he'll go safe and do it with someone like Oprah Winfrey. Yes, yeah, or more sympathetic little. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Yeah, but Oprah, like, we saw the uh, Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry thing. Mm. She very much just accepts the narrative given to her from mm. the person that's giving the interview. Uh, sorry, yeah. being interviewed and just sympathises and empathises with That's him. why they'll choose people like that. Which yeah. way, which way very, you, you get the questioning that you yeah. think, well, as he said, he this needs, is what you ask. But but I've, got, I've got an answer for that. Yeah, but there but, is the other side of it as well where you can get the, the, the change in, in direction where you look at M, uh, is Emily Mike, what was Mateless. Name? Mateless, yeah. Um who did Prince Andrew. Yeah. Did, when, when I say did Prince Andrew, she interviewed him. Uh, what happened after that with the cameras changed, I don't know. Can't speculate, but uh, that's just, I uh, you know, want to get that clear. Um, but M, uh, Emily Mateless, she was chosen as a as, uh, as an interviewer who would be very uh, cautious, very, but she wasn't. She was brutal. Yeah. She yeah. sort of like laid it on. Yeah. yeah. With him, yeah. And they weren't expecting that. He didn't have the answers. And he yeah. that's something he, he, it was he, a really bad he said he never sweat. Him. He said he never sweat until that until that interview. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that's where long form podcast content is the one because it's not an interview per se. It's not pre approved questions. Oh yeah. It's two people with a bit of mutual respect having a conversation for three hours where they will talk about some tough topics, they'll talk about other stuff, mm. maybe future projects. That's why podcasts are so big nowadays because yeah. people don't want yeah. read off the sheet, ask question, move mm. on to the next one Bring anymore. Back Paxman, yeah. get him to do the interview. That'd be good. <laughs> mm. uh, I don't know, but yeah, well, Chris know. Rock. Chris Rock should do the interview. <laughs> 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 right. Yeah, you might get a bit of pushback from Will Smith on that one. Well, you'll probably like that. <laughs> 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 Sorry, guys, that was cheap. <laughs> Yeah, right, fair play. Let us know yeah, what you yeah. think of that in the comments section because mm. it is an interesting one. And is this guy just trying to get some clout going on podcast talking about something? Had you ever heard of Brother Bilal before? No. This, uh, no, me neither. No. When they said his name, I was like, is that his real name? Yeah. I don't know. What's his... Uh, I don't know. I've got no idea and I'll probably never hear of him again. You might hear about him when he's in court. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think this will be a this will be a, a story that's going to sort of like get bigger and bigger. You yeah. think? Mm. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Could do. I think he's got legs on, especially if he gets uh, if he gets uh, sued. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be uh, the news will be looking at this because that'll be a case of uh, I don't know. We like you said, trying to Will Smith might use it to try and turn his reputation yeah. around. If there's actual court case for it, it'd be absolutely huge. Yeah. If it come if it does come yeah. to court. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah be because the the, the, me the media definitely want. Definitely want Brother Bilal to be correct. I also think Hollywood want uh, a avenue for Will Smith to get his career back on track. Possibly. Because he's a huge, huge actor. He just won an Oscar. Yeah, he's a big ticket. Yeah, yeah, so if they can get his reputation back on track and mm. carry on with the project he was already working on, Hollywood wins, absolutely. Yeah. You know, you've and got a tried and tested But the other side of it, and I don't, like I say, I'm not massively into showbiz. You know, I just came across this by uh, by Megan Thee Stallion, referred me to it. <clears> and, uh, oh, Megan, she just told <laughs> you about it, did yeah, she? Yeah, she pointed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone was pointing in that direction but um, what you've got is uh, with someone like Will Smith I don't because I don't follow showbiz that much I don't know how much Will Smith's been in the news since the Chris Rock issue today since yeah. the Chris Rock since the Chris Rock issue died down yeah <clears throat> has Will Smith been in the news for anything other than well, just like, like that, that that event that happened and nothing sort of like bubbling around a week ago it was Margot Robbie wasn't it that he allegedly had an affair with right. so but like, I didn't know if that was big <clears throat> news or was that something that was like just sort of like in passing I've not heard about that I'd so. say I saw a couple of that. news articles talking yeah. about yeah. it yeah. and I, I think they've been scraping for anything they they've probably had loads of journalists phoning up everyone he's ever known for mm. the past couple yeah. of years they tend to do that don't they give yeah. us yeah. any dirt you've got on him yeah. that guy will probably write a book on this yeah so he probably started at Z and went down <laughs> Let's start with Jay Z. See if we got no anything on the anything on the wise. No, no, all the way down. So now they have got to B, brother Bilal. It's took him a couple of months. Yeah, <laughs> we got down to his name. It's like should have started at A, dickhead. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's, when clicks are monetized nowadays, mm. who knows what yeah. the truth is? Because yeah. bull sensationalist yeah. bullshit sells a lot more than people just being open and honest. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. But yeah, there you go. Let us know what you think of that in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Don't have nightmares. Do sleep well. <laughs> See you on the next Cheers, one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.